Yeah, bump your throw. What throw? You're tired, bro. Sit down. You're tired, bro. I just realized you're a modern dowser. Manse Maibiat. Take these hits. <laughs> throw. Hold on. Is is that is that who I think it is? Is that my fellow DJs? Hold on, y'all. Let me get ready for y'all. It's your boy, Jay Jensei. And I'm back here in a good way here to bring you guys an analysis video. And this one, we're going to be checking out some Master Rain people. And we're going to be feeding off of their tech like the little parasites that we are. So it's going to be a couple things we'll go over. We're going to go ahead and watch some replays. And after the replays, we're going to go ahead and go through a analysis pretty much of what I believe will be really nice to have when it comes to rank play, tournament play, whichever. And I'm going to have like a little explanation of what's going on. So it's going to be an explanation based on how to do the moves and place them to where to do the moves. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. We're currently trying to hit that 1000 subscriber mark and hit that like button to let me know if this is the type of content that you DJs want to see. But like usual, I don't really like keeping a long intro. So you know what? Let's go ahead and slide right in. Hey, 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 hey. rubbing my hand like Birdman about to take tech from these mans. A Dowsum matchup. That boy, C-Town. Show me some good stuff, C-Town. All right, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Yep, not ready. Mm -hmm. EX that. Yes, yeah, sir. Bop. All right, good pressure. Good stuff. That actually anti aired him from jumping up in the air. Hmm. I'm sliding on through, baby. Oh, Dawson got it. Okay. Bro, I promise jump 2 okay. It's such a good move. You doing a fireball? Well, guess what? Take his D to the muff. <laughs> Back HK. <laughs> good stuff. Bro, you gotta react to the DI. Bop, bop, bop. Nice. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The boy has the rhythm. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, so I'm noticing him doing crouch HP just a little bit. And it might be max distance, but it's actually catching this thousand. Yep, good stuff. Yep, yep, yep. DP whenever uh, Dowson wants to do any type of teleports. Why does man rotate his head in your abs, bro? Dowson's not a real person. Yo, God. Alright, what we got? 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 That man is taking crouching HPs to the to the gut. I wonder what you could do right there. Whenever Dowson does like a fireball and then teleports behind you, you just gotta hold that. He is not punishing his uh, medium soul bot whatsoever. Yeah, bump your throw. What throw? You're tired, bro. Sit down. You're tired, bro. I just realized you're a modern Dowson. Manse Maibiat. Take these hits. Throw. Right over there charging waiting for Dowson to do a teleport. Good stuff. Definitely gotta remember. After EX Fireball, EX Slasher, DR, and get ready for the counter. Or Punish, I should say.
Look at that boy douse some scowl. Heavy behind eyebrows. With no eyebrows. Yoga. Alright, good stuff. He's waiting for the jump to OKs now, so you gotta do him less. Make him scared of everything else. He's always gonna get punched in the gut. I'm surprised he ain't trying to press a button on a plus two EX slasher. He's still not taking DIs. I'm not gonna realize. I'm, uh, uh, I'm realize. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't realize Dowson's health was so low until after the EX machine gun punch. I looked up. He was on one. Like Dowson, where'd your health go? Bop, 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 bop. He's already at half health. Just from that one route. Let me let me restart that. Hold up. Bam, 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 bam. Bop, bop, bam. Literally. And he's at half health just from this route. That is nice. Gotta keep that in mind. Gotta make sure we got the rhythm. Heavy slasher. Hold on. We could do that. Hmm. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Waiting for him to do teleport to try and get out of the corner. Good standing 5 HP. Alright, C-Town. Nothing flashy this time, but look. You're getting the light from me. Playing solid. Jury! I actually like the jury matchup. I know I said in one video that it's like, even. But look. I like playing the matchup. Pop. Ooh. Yes, sir. Bop, bam, bam. Yes, sir. You shimmy that. Because she's like, you know what? All DJs try to throw right there. Mmm. Look at him playing. I'm surprised she didn't try to anti it. Would probably would have traded. And she would have lost from the hit. Hmm. I thought she was going to jump again. I'm not going to lie to you. EXDP from all the way over there. Hmm. Good throw. Good anti air. C Town love his uh there we go, yes! Get that trade and profit from it. Plus two. <gasps> she pushed the button! Alright, so mental note. When you do EX slasher, do not do forward MK. Good reactions. Let's go. GG's. Definitely take a mental note. Cause I know it's like plus plus two. But uh Forward MK is not a move to do. I like your pies. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 uh. But I'm glad I'm seeing different uh, ways of implementing that route. So it's not just one way to be able to do it. I like that you can do heavy machine gun, or is that medium machine gun, into it. She was definitely trying to find ways to get out. But he was just constantly putting on the pressure. And it wasn't like heavy pressure, but it was pressure from a distance. She doesn't really know what to do right now. Good shit, bop. Ooh. Alright, I see you. That's a new way of doing that. Trying to shimmy. Yeah, she's when when she gets put in the corner, she's scared of trying to move forward. Okay, so in the corner, keeps like uh somewhat of a distance, and it's keep pressure with long range moves. 
Okay, DJ has the legs. He's tired. What's up? Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, might as well finish it. Hmm. Gotta keep that in mind. Cause then on top of that, what that does is that that also applies the pressure to bring down their meter and make them tired. I like that. All right, boys and girls and DJs of all natures. Welcome to a new little segment that I'm going to call Jay's Corner. This is where we're going to be going ahead and taking tech from each master that I see that I believe is something really good to have. So the very first one we're going to take, like the thief in the night and the gremlin in the morning it's from C-Town. And it's going to be that route that he did where it goes based off of the DI punish. It's a crouch to HP and crouch to MP. And then ends off in the level 2 super. Now you can see you get a clean almost 50%. That's 4,542 damage. Almost there. Really good. Really good route. Really good DI punish route. And of course, we're going to cover the other route, which is pretty much the same thing, except it was based off of a jump in HK. And then there's a clean 5066, but that is also on if Dalsum were to push the button a little too late or a button on the wrong spot, like a standing LP or a crouching LK or a standing LK, whatever, and misses you and you actually get the hit right after when he's recovering from that. So it's technically a whiff punish. All right, so the other one I want to cover is that variation is very good on jump HK. What I also want to cover, because sometimes this might happen during a real match, where you get that jump in HK, but you're just a little too far to get both the HP and MP. So instead, we'll just hop in and do an immediate crouching MP into, into EX, just cool. So as you can see there, I missed when I was just a little bit farther away from Dalsum for that jump HK punish. Went into crouching HP, into crouching MP, into EX just cool and the EX just cool missed so instead of adding the crouching HP we're just gonna do the crouching MP into EX just cool and it's the same route right after and it's a uh, of course gonna be less damage and that's actually a significant less damage it's like almost 400 worth it's like 300 math is not with me 322 i think that is missing about so no it's more than that but whatever i'm not gonna worry about that 388 <laughs> but yeah but you'll still be able to finish up the combo and there's also a pretty decent because you've seen it from mid screen it carried all the way to the corner so that's actually a very good carry Another route that I seen C-Town do that I thought was pretty good was an interesting route that involved DR off of Light Punch. And I think that's a very good move because if you get them in the corner, even if they're not in the corner, you can still get a safe jump off of that. Another good one that I seen from C-Town was a Pretty much one of the routes that I've shown in one of my previous videos. Except this time it's going to end off of Heavy Sobot. Into Mix! The reason why I like this one so much is because it leaves a good amount of possibilities for what to do. After you shimmy the first throw on the jury, and go into it again, it then brings up different possibilities that the jury player is gonna try and think of what you're going to do. Like, hmm, he didn't try to throw the first time like other DJs, so I wonder if he's gonna try something different. And the real good thing about it is that you can even do just cool to avoid the throw into one of DJ's follow-ups and then still keep pressure going.
even though he dropped it, this could be something you can get off of a dive kick from a jury if you get back HK at a good timing. I mean, usually you might end up like this, but sometimes if you preemptively do it, if it's like a, a, a jury that's very dive kick happy, you could possibly get this result. And then once again, pretty much a similar round from the combo that I did in the last video. Except this one is going to end on Light Machine Gun Punch. And there was one last that I seen from C-Town that I really liked that I thought was straight vibes. I noticed that when it comes to the ones where you want to catch the vibes, you can't be too far from your opponent. About here is a good enough distance, and a little bit back right here is a good enough distance. Like, this is as far as you can go. So it'd be like right where you see that line right under DJ, that really long one, that would be the distance. No vibes, but hey, guess what? It's still good. There you go. There's the vibes. Alright, I think that's about it that I want to pick up for tech. The only other thing is keeping up like a mid a kind of mid to long range when it comes from character to character pressure in the corner. And that crouching HP is uh, it's a little crazy. But either way, if you like the video that you've seen and it helped you a bit, go ahead and drop that like button. If you want to see more, go ahead and drop a subscribe. Remember, share with your friends and your people down. And in the comment section, put down what it was that you liked from the video that you've seen. Put down if there's anything new that you want to see. Or if there's anything you know that could be modified or added to what's currently shown in the video. Also, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, click on the video on screen. It'll help you grasp a better understanding on safe jumps, learn some routes, and help get the ability to create some of your own. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright my fellow DJs, deuces.